in photos from the Christmas Eve party. Um, she was stood next to Paul with his arm around her in every photo. The one. And Nicola was the other side by herself. And then as soon as Nicola went missing, she left her own family and moved in with Paul and the girls, and she's still there now. Why so, did you do that? Sorry about that. So <laughs> Um yeah, Nicholas Dog what's up the vet veteran practice where the nurse vet died? Um the vet veterinary nurse died. It's um that's what I mean, Sugar Rush. Nothing the thing is with right, the, the thing is with this a case that's just happened with Gaynor, I'll just say quickly, the police have done a really good quick investigation. They've cordoned off the whole park, banned public from going in for over a week. They've literally got the right dive teams in. They've literally found out all of her phone records. They found out why she left work early. They found out her, every single CCTV around around Norwich. And they found her. I'm not going to be too long, Taylor. Um, and they found her. Gainer, Gainer's brother and dad live in Blackpool. Yeah, well, uh, Gainer's originally from Lancashire. Um, but, but at least with that case, if the police come out now... and think this Gainer case has been sort of done too quick? I do think um, like everything has happened so quick. Yeah, it was um, normally an normally. So say when Nicola bully, Nicola was found on a Sunday and they wouldn't do the autopsy until Monday because it's a weekend. But yet she's had an autopsy today, um, which is, a, you know, there's little I said the king's coroner. Yes, yeah, she's had they've had the full coroner report already. Um, like they've had an autopsy. Um, and they're saying no sign of foul play. But obviously this what this live is about Nicola. But what I'm saying is in Nicola's case, nothing was done correctly. So the scene wasn't called mm. enough. No DNA was taken from the bench. No DNA was taken from the collar of, of the dog in case someone else pulled him. No one explained why the dog didn't go into the water. No one explained anything. They had members of the public, like Curtis, they were complaining about filming her body. But they, were just, they just didn't cordon off anything at any time. So now when they go back and go, oh, you know, just, you just need to leave it alone. You're like, hang on a minute. They gave Paul her phone. Paul said that he got, he phoned Nicola from half nine to 10, three times. Penny had her phone from half nine. So why didn't she answer his calls? She was trying to find out whose phone it was. Like nothing yeah. matters. Nothing makes sense. I mean, it's just literally, you know. And also yeah. the, the thing I found disgusting with Nicola, you know, they dragged it out because they were incompetent. And that is, you know, this is in media. This is on everything. They are, they were incompetent. But for them to, to drag and say, oh, she's mentally unstable. She's an alcoholic. She was drinking. I found that really disgusting. And if she was that bad, why would she be allowed to drive her kids to school? 100%. I thought, um, I thought it was, I thought it was devastating. And again, I think it was another situation where Paul had put something in people's minds. Thank you, Marisha, to make people think that she was a loose cannon. You know, so when she got, you know, they were all kind of discredited her from day one. Um, you know, I, Paul, I do think it was Emma that took me to school that morning. You know, but you know where medium's pointing? The picture, where he's pointing, on bank, that went police. There's two police officers, in the one on bank in one, you can just see Z. That picture there, if you zoom into it, there's a great big building in background. Massive yeah. building. It, it looks like a fence, but if you zoom in on it, it's a massive building. It's Emma's farm. No, oh. it's it's not a farm. It's not farm. It's it's like I ain't seen it before. I've looked. I've I've walked down that. Well, I'm, I'm in fact I'm going to Blackpool after Christmas, so I'm going back down there um, because I ain't been personally. But I, I did it on Google, like, and I've walked down that field where where it was. There's no building. Where's building? I can't find it. Right. No, I get what you're saying. You know, it's, it's, AI is now. it's literally if you if you zoom into that picture, that that exact picture, yeah. If you get the full one, it's all of it like that because all you've got to do is put uh, finding a Nicola's body, and it'll come up with the same picture. All press you was that picture, and if you zoom in on it, you can. It looked like a fence. I thought it were a fence at first, and when I zoomed in, it's a great big massive. Must be two hundred foot long. I bet. It's a massive, like, farm building, not an house, it's a building, like a farm building, you know, stainless steel or whatever it's made of, a steel I'll one. I'll have to look at I think, um, there's, there's, there's and she wouldn't have any water either, because if you look where he's pointing, he's not pointing, he's, he's stood and he's pointing at side rim. Yeah. 
So if she were in water, he'd have to be in water. Because he's pointing to her. That's what he's doing at that point. He's pointing, isn't he? He's showing the couple where she is. That's what he's doing. You like, look, she's there. That's what he's saying to him. And if, if you look where he's pointing, that's not in water. It can't be. It's impossible for it to be in water. Or he'd be stood in water. And if you zoom in, you can see some at there. But uh, it's up to you if you zoom in. But I have. I've seen it. So, what do you think about Peter Falden then? Shill. Yeah. Said it from was, start. Uh, you know what? Oh, I watched. I watched him before. Obviously, the Nick of Bully thing. Before I followed Hayley, and uh, I watched him on a few cases, and I thought, oh, this guy's good. But then, since Hayley has brought stuff to light, I'm thinking, you know what? Maybe he was a shill. Who's, who's and, ever and, seen and him? And he's allowed to say that problem. about the police, yet they haven't sued him for saying stuff. Look, see, um, I met Peter Folding. I met him at Crime Con. I talked to him about the Nicola Bully case. I shook his hand. He said to me at Crime Con, and he said, please don't ever mention this until the inquest is done. Um, he said, but I can 150% tell you Nicola Bully was not in that river. And then he showed me pictures out of the middle of his book that I just bought and he just signed. He opened up a picture that showed an image of a body on the bottom of the river. And he went, look how obvious that is. He Ooh. said there was nothing on the bottom of that river. There was nothing in the reeds. There was nothing anywhere because I'd searched every part, including three pockets that a body could be hidden. I'd searched it all and Nicola was not in that water. Now, all of a sudden, he is completely saying... You know, he keeps saying these frustrating things. Like the first interview did break the ice. Everyone knows. I was like, oh my God, they know that he found Nicola Bully early. The police didn't want to get out. And I, I believed him. And then all uh, of a sudden, he literally did that other interview the other night with Break the Ice where he was like, we're going to answer 50 questions, which is a fucking lot. And I yeah. believe they did that because they knew if we flood people with 50 questions worth of information, bits are going to get lost and we're not going to... And he fluffed every question. Like, well, that's not my expertise. Oh, I wouldn't like to take a guess at that. Well, I don't really know. Oh, I used to see women go into the water with like full makeup on and she didn't have makeup on. And it was just kind of crazy. And then he kept going on and on about his animals at his farm and his beautiful farm. And someone said, look at your Christmas tree. And he went, oh, and on the other side of the room is a big open fireplace. And I thought, are you here for justice for Nicola or are you here for self-promotion? You absolute it's turn. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? Peaky's right. I knew, I, now, sorry. now the penny's dropped. He's a shill. I knew from start me because all you've got to do is look at his business. It's a multi-million pound business. I mean, you can go on um, government house and have a look, and it says that he ain't got no funds really. To, but just not that. I mean, he's got helicopters. He's got all these boats and everything. So Jeez. where did he get the money from if he was just in army? Well. Oh, you know what? You, you know, I, listen, literally, it was just a squaddy. It's a black budget. I think it's quite weird. That... Who knew him? Let me just ask this, sorry. Who knew him before Nicola Bully case? Did anybody know him before? Uh, uh, well, I did, but I, 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 when did I see him? I came across him on one of my TikToks from one of my other numerous band accounts. Um... And he was doing sonar because I think he was working in America. You know when cars go missing? You know when there's no, missing people not, and they drag the cars out? That's not Peter. That's a different organisation. Oh, yeah. I thought it was him. See, no. I, I, I am really Because he said sonar. he worked in America doing that. So yeah. obviously I put two and two together and made that, zero. Um, that's a and I thought it was him doing the sonar. That's Adventures with Purpose. Oh, thank you. And that's Adventures with Purpose that do that. They're an absolutely amazing team. Um, I am really into sonar technology because I've watched Adventures for Purpose um, before he came yeah, out. Yeah, I love them. Well, he's one of the main character, the, the main owner of the company is now a paedophile who uh, abused his own sisters and cousins. Oh. But um, I literally even bought their merch. I was so into what they were doing. I watched everything. I was literally crying when the cars got brought up and the bodies in, everything else. They'd solved 36 missing people's cases within two years. I thought they were amazing. But even though I knew all of that stuff, I'd never heard of Peter Folding. And then this whole thing, thank you so much for the gingerbread and for the um, Santa North Pole thing. Um, Peter Folding 
the other day came across as a very very self-promoting and it just, it just it got very strange when he explained the other day that he used to be um he used to be in the army just to <laughs> doing that and he all of a sudden the fbi brought him over to america this random man to show them all of their sonar technology that the uk didn't even have yet why him when he'd never even done sonar before it just seems very strange was he an experienced diver i think he was a, a diver possibly but why would they just pick him and go come over to the fbi like one of the most sacred buildings of the whole of the us where so much goes on we're going to show you our trade secrets and what we do um and you bring it back to the uk and then it just um he worked on another uk big case he has worked on a couple of cases actually but i just think i just think there's something you know i think probably did him he work on one though or is it just but the fact that he said it because i haven't researched whether he were on april jones or any others i know he said he was but i, I didn't I've, I've looked into april jones and I, I can't remember him but i haven't looked at the documentary and seen whether he were on that or not like you know what i mean i don't think you um april jones they found her within within like 24 hours not in you said you were on April Jones, didn't you? And somebody in the comments said it as well, not not two minutes ago. I think it were it. Oh. I've just finished watching the April Jones documentary because I wanted to um, do the case this week, but I didn't see anything about him on there. I don't even know if they did big water searches. She went missing that tiny little um, village, and within an hour of her going missing, her best friend had said, we saw, we saw her getting into a car. She went off in a car. Thank you, Paul, and Fred. Um, and so so they, who, who were Nicola's the best friends? Because I remember Nicola was there. No, not Nicola. Sorry, forgive me. Okay. Um, this thing was there because I that you know she was all, and then she was glammed up within three days. Eyelashes, hair, everything. Yeah, but there was enough. another shorter woman there. I think that's Tilly. Well, no, Nicola's no friends and family come forward. That is like. It's like the Truman Show or the Stepford Village. Very strange. It's, um... Right, guys, I'm going to have to end the live because I promised Taylor I was going to watch Five Nights at Freddy's, the film with her tonight, and it's gotten really late. Um, Five Nights but at I... Right, I'm going out in any case tonight. Night, you. Um, Thank I'm... you, Hayley. Bye. I know I've literally overwhelmed everyone with loads of information and if people want to go away and watch that super chuffer thing i'm quite happy to go live that again tomorrow and actually try and work it into some kind of hi ho hope you had a lovely night um try to work it into some kind of things that matter um literally look at noreen smith i'll look at noreen smith i literally she, she's on here and she i saw one of the videos of day but i would love to come and talk about it again and just kind of for people i ever miss it tonight or people that want me to put it into kind of more of a um like chart where i can just break it all down i know v had loads of um paperwork that she wanted to speak to everyone and then obviously something's come up with her so she's had to rush off i think it's probably one of the kids have woke up um but i've got a couple of other things i want to speak about um like trying to what i want to do is i want to try and turn his super tough as work into my own theory try and fit it in so it looks um yeah Cass, sorry um when i'm listening to people up here i'm not looking down there to be fair what we do is i'll um we'll do a bit of a question and answer at the at the end tomorrow um back to normal soon yeah literally i will have a look and i'm gonna have a look at a couple of people have said i'll go and look at pictures of peter like 10 years ago and you'll see that's not him in the original photo so i'm going to do those things i don't want to um i don't want to in the nickel bully case be right i don't care if i'm right i care oh tracy jog on i care if i um, if nicola has justice and i would want if i go missing and something happens to me I don't want people telling my children, oh, she probably did it herself or, oh, she just fell in if something happened. Like, honestly, and I, I will keep fighting for justice for Nicola. So obviously, you know, if people think like what I'm saying is crazy or what Super Tough is saying crazy, like I want to hear that too. I want to hear everyone's opinion and anything that people can tell me, um, who's probably not, not from E17, um, stay another day. Charlotte, you're off your head. Um, anyone who has got any information that they can message me over obviously if you want to send me screenshots it'll be over on um my new instagram on comic crime um 
send them to me because if, if if anything i've said is wrong or anything super tough has said and you're like you're correct she's crazy like let me let me show you the real thing show like send it to me like i want to hear it all i'm getting off now vicky i've done a case from half nine and i want to go and um i promise taylor i'm going to watch a film with her tonight and tegan's out tonight and tori's fast asleep so i'm going to try and do it tonight while i've got time because she doesn't really get any of my time um being that i've got three of them all the time um thank you thanks for all the gift tonight guys and thank you for coming and listening thank you for everyone for not just saying you're absolutely nuts um that's always nice and I